The Prime Blue BTPTTZ mini button works with a variety of different push to talk over cellular apps like Zello, ES Chat, Unity Intercom, Streamwide, and many others. In this video, we will show you how to pair the button to your phone or tablet using the Zello or Zello at Work apps. The process for connecting the button to other apps will be similar, but the exact steps might be slightly different. To use the button, your POC app must have permission to access the device's Bluetooth radio. To grant this permission, take the following steps. On Apple iOS devices, go to iOS settings and then scroll down to find your POC app. Tap on the name of the app. Under permissions, make sure that the Bluetooth permission is checked on. For Android devices, go to Android settings and then search for the name of your POC app. Tap on the name of the app. In order to access Bluetooth, the app needs to have a permission called Nearby Devices. If Nearby Devices does not appear in the list of allowed permissions, tap on the list of permissions and then scroll down until you find Nearby Devices. Tap on it and then tap on Allow. Now that the app has access to Bluetooth, we can pair the button with your phone or tablet. Generally, BLE devices are paired through the apps that use them rather than through the phone's Bluetooth menu. On Apple devices, open your POC app and sign in. Go to Settings and then go to Push to Talk buttons. Tap on Add New Device. The app will begin to scan for nearby compatible Bluetooth devices. Then, power on the PTT button. Once the button is powered on, the POC app should find a device named PTT-Z. Tap on it to pair. For Android devices, open the POC app and sign in. Then go to the app settings, push to talk buttons and tap on the plus sign to add a new button. Follow the app's prompts by powering the button on, and then pressing the PTT button. The app should detect a button named PTT-Z and add it to the list of buttons saved within the app. Please note that on the PTT-Z Mini, the power switch is located inside the housing of the button. Just rotate the housing counterclockwise to separate the halves. Then you can use a ballpoint pen, a paperclip, or another small object to push the switch from the zero off position to the one on position. Once the button has been paired to the POC app, your phone and the button will remember each other even if the devices are powered off or restarted. Pressing the button should cause the app to transmit, even if the phone screen is locked.